Hi, this is Ruth Williams with Site Resources, and I'm going to talk to you about permalinks in WordPress. Okay, permalinks are uh, how the browser finds uh, either your page or your post, and it's probably be easiest if I just show you what they look like. Okay, so let's just pull up a page. And you'll notice right under the title box, there's a text that says permalink, and it has the HTTP colon slash slash, and then uh, your website, and then uh, what page we have here. So you can actually edit this text. Um, I'll show you again how to do that. I did it kind of fast. Uh, you just click edit, and you can change the name. You want to make sure that you avoid, uh, actually you should avoid capital letters and try to avoid spaces. So I wouldn't want to do that. If you have more than one word, try and put a dash in there and then click OK. And now I've changed my permalink. So what that means is when I hit update and view my page, you'll notice that up here in the address bar, it's changed the permalink. Okay, so maybe you're wondering, well, why is that really that important? Well, if you are adding a new page, and say you have a very long title, uh, your permalink is automatically set to um, grab your title from what you put in here. So if I say my new page, oops. As soon as I click out of the box, it gives me an automatic permalink that says my new page. What if my title is very long? And if I had typed in that initially, it will look something like this. And it's just starting to get really, really long. So if you want to keep things nice and neat, and this also helps with uh, the searchability of your website. And that's how you change that. So where this is really important is with your posts. So let's go ahead and make a new post and look at the permalink. Okay. Okay, so you'll notice that the permalink for the post is even longer because WordPress puts the date in here. That's what these numbers are. Um, so you really want to make sure that if you do have a long title for your post, you edit your permalink to be a shorter version of that. And that's all there is to that.